In another development, a bill for an act to amend tertiary education trust fund Act 2011 has killed second reading at the House of Representatives. This bill is seeking to the amendment of the Ted Fund Act to provide additional conditions for, ac for accessing funds for capital projects by beneficiaries and institutions. To ensure that these intervention funds be put be, being um, 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 sourced and provided by the federal government of Nigeria cannot get to all universities in Nigeria. But they're just saying that the universities who have shown capacity, who have shown resilience, who have shown steadfastness, can use their track record to have a better chance than one university who has not done anything, who has just sat down are not expending the use of the uh, resources they've afforded them. Let me pause a bit down. It will, it will surprise you to know that a lot of universities are not able to assess the third fund money. And the reason is a lot of conditions put up for them to meet before they assess these funds which has made it very, very impossible. And coming again to amend this act to further strengthen and add more conditions. Mr. Speaker, I think it's just like what my honorable colleague said. Someone who is looking for employment and for you to deny him that employment, you are looking for 30 years experience and 50 years experience. Asking universities to submit their financial records and jobs they have done to Accountant General of Nigeria with enormous responsibilities he cannot even meet. It's just a way of saying that it's impossible for universities to assess this fund. The problem has been that most institutions have not even met up with the, uh, some of the stringent conditions. One of which is that until you exhaust uh, the, uh, the allocations for the on current year, you are not entitled to take that of the previous year. So that has brought uh, unassessed interventions on the, on the floor. That is also not to un uh, underlook or overlook the issue of poor performance uncompleted projects because you are aware third fund interventions uh, don't have any space for variation. So I would also add that maybe at committee level we'll look at ensuring that even as an intervention the National Assembly has the mandate to appropriate the funds. The all universities have done their needs assessment and we know what they require and what they don't require. Relative to funding, Mr. Speaker, most of the projects don't also have sufficient funds at every given point in time. So tracking and having the records of achievements in terms of what they have done with what is available to them might be challenging, except we strengthen the capacities of the supervisory agencies and institutions. So Thank if you. we have to get, use that as a criteria or criterion, in further assessment of funds to improve the capacity of our universities, I wonder if some universities will not be shut out completely in this process. Thank the House also passed for second reading a bill to amend Agricultural Research Council of Nigeria Act Cap A12, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004. The proposed amendment seeks to establish the National Institute of Rubber Research and Technology in Ilushi, Ogun State, and address related matters. The establishment of National Institute of Research, Robert Research and Technology, Lucy Nogu, Waterside, local government area of Ogun State, is a bold step towards not only addressing the education needs of the people in the area, but also as a training and a site grant for agriculturists in the discipline as well, may provide for the general application of the institution and for related matters. Mr. Speaker, sir, it will stress you to note that Ogun State is. Um, uh, I would say it's one of the 10 top rubber producing states in Nigeria. And um, as you know, there's only one, 
research institutes in the whole country, which uh, cannot cater for 24 states that, pro that, are, pro that are rubber producing states, which, which means the only which means the only one we have is grossly inadequate. Therefore, there's need to establish more robust research issues, especially at this period that we need to focus more on agriculture. In another news, the House has rejected a bill for an act to amend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 to revise the definition of Islamic law in the Constitution and for related matters. This bill was sponsored by Honorable Aliu Bakwa Misou. Allow us to please step down this amendment for the time being so that we can deliberate more on it. Because, of course, from the way I see it, it's such that the state should be considering, not here. The problem of religious war, we started as far back as 1938 in this country. Let it not start here again. 